Games Workshop shrunk my blood angels. So we've been very fortunate to receive the brand new Legions Imperialis box from Games Workshop and we thought we'd do something really cool and compare them in size and detail and all the little things to the Age of Darkness box contents which we painted up. Um, as we painted them up, obviously in the colours of Blood Angels, we thought it would be really cool to do them in Blood Angels as well, specifically to show this comparison video. I think it really shows obviously what you can do with these miniatures. Let's start with the 40 TAC Marines and where better place to start than by looking at the core of the box for the Marine side. Uh, you get 40, which is exactly the same as what you get in the, the Age of Darkness box, which is great. Um, but the really cool thing is they actually shrink down into eight bases. So you have eight bases of five infantry. Um, when Adam, who worked on the Imperialist side of stuff, was working on the Blood Angels, he said it was really strange putting like five models onto one round base. Um, as you can see, huge difference in size and scale, uh, but the exactly the same numeric force, uh, which is really awesome. So when it comes to actually painting these, um, the difference is quite considerable between them. Uh, obviously, look, they're a lot smaller, as you can see, compared to the full-size Heresy version. Um, but the, uh, the, the the Marines themselves are obviously still painted in a really high contrast, super vibrant red. And then uh, there's been an edging that has been done on them. We've tried to edge and Adam has edged as much as physically possible on them. But obviously, due to the size and scale, um, it's not possible to absolutely edge everything. Uh, but we still managed to achieve quite a lot on there, which is quite good. But you can really see the huge difference in size. I mean, this is obviously on a 32. The base that the five Marines goes on is obviously a lot smaller. Um, but again, really, really great use of obviously like sort of formation as well with a sergeant at the front, which I think is quite cool. Um, but again, all the little details on them. We try and paint as much as physically possible as we have done. The sort of studs on the pads have all been painted. Um, you've also got all the lenses that have been painted as well. They're absolutely tiny, but um, Adam's managed to, to paint those as well, which is really great. And just shows the level of detail that these models do actually have, uh, which is really cool. Just to show you a couple of the other Mark VI models that come in the box, you've got two command squad bases, you've got two jump infantry assault marine bases, you've then got two devastator and then two uh, plasma special squads as well, which is really cool. Uh, again, it's really uh, interesting how all the models are still amazingly distinguishable, even such a small scale. Obviously the command squad having the banner, the jump marines having the backpacks, the missile launchers being shoulder wielded and obviously the blue glow on the plasma that's been painted on. Um, but it's really nice to be able to see those even at this kind of scale as well, which is great. Um, obviously the Blood Angel Army got some Assault Marines which is great and the Command Squad looks really really cool you can put them in different poses different positions as well see Captain at the front there you've got the uh, Sanguinary Novitiate or the Apothecary here at the side a couple of other other members of the squad two other veterans there as well which is really cool but you can really strategically place them on the bases just to add some interest and show different sort of squad layouts and things which is quite cool um, same with the Jump Infantry uh, really nice uh, set of models. Again, the detail on these is, is absolutely tiny, but um, but real fun sort of challenge and different kind of canvas to work on as well, which is great. Uh, but again, it's putting the colours in the right places just to distinguish things like, for example, the plasma uh, or sort of like little details with some embellishments and gold and things like that. Um, and then we have a look at the uh, the heavy weapon troopers. You can see the missile launchers all shoulder shoulder mounted there. I love the fact that there's, you've still got the all specs on the sergeant there. He's just wielding the all specs and even had gone in and painted the screen on the all specs as well, which is just a cool little detail. Um, so you can still get quite a lot of, of, of a sort of little details painted onto these. Um, we then got the special squad, the plasma. Again, they're led by a sergeant at the front. You've got obviously four plasma wielding veterans uh, or specialist troops there as well, which is just awesome. The basing across the force as well is actually really interesting. All the bases are sculpted, so all the details on there, the cracked tiles, some of the gantries and metalwork and things like that. You've got some of the aquilas on them as well, which is quite cool. Uh, again, really loads of little details that you can have fun painting as well in these. Next up, we've got the uh, Cataphracty Terminators. And again, here you've got five on the one Imperialist base. And then uh, you've got the, uh, the single Cataphracty here from the uh, uh, Age of Darkness box. Again, really similar sort of uh, sort of thing with the, the same as the rest of the Mark VI Marines. Again, we've used a really sort of saturated red just to um, just to add high contrast against the darker basing. But again, Ad's done a great job of edge highlighting all the little details on the tiny, tiny little cataphracty. All the metalworks have sort of been highlighted as well. Um, even the gun casings and things, which is really nice. But um, again, all the little lenses as well on there, on just on the sort of tiny little heads uh, have also been painted to just add that sort of uh, lifelike kind of appearance compared to the larger versions. So next, let's look at probably one of my favorite models from uh, the Horus Heresy, the Contemptor Dreadnought. You get four in the Legion's box, which is awesome. Compared to the new one from the Age of Darkness box, you can see the absolute monster that the uh, the, the full-size one is compared to this tiny, tiny little, little friend. 
Um, again, really awesome model. And again, it, it retains a lot of its detail from the bigger version. Um, this is one of the really, really cool things about it that you can still have a lot of fun painting these tiny little versions of what you're used to. Never did I think I would have a Sicarian battle tank in the palm of my hand, but uh, today it proves that anything is possible. As you can see compared, to, now obviously it's not the same tank, we've got a Spartan, I'm holding obviously the, the Age of Darkness Spartan here as you can see, um, but this absolutely diddy, this really tiny Sicarian fits conveniently in the palm of your hand and Ad has done a phenomenal job of fully edge highlighting this. So every panel line, every recess has all been fully highlighted and shaded to, to almost do exactly what we would do on the full size 28 mil version. Um, again, all the lenses, lights and details are all fully painted, but even the rivets as well have all been highlighted on this as well. So as it gets to this kind of size for the larger vehicles, it does still make it quite possible to be able to do a lot of the things that you can do on the bigger versions, um, but just obviously on a much, much smaller uh, iteration of the model. Uh, but none of the details have been lost. It, they are super, super crisp with all the little bits and bobs that are on them and uh, a real fun project to paint. You can see some of the transfers that have been applied on there as well, just on the side. You've got the, track, the Blood Angels symbol that's just applied on the side um, and that fits conveniently just in that recessed armor panel. Um, but again, at this size now, you can start using some of those smaller transfers that you find on your 40K or other game system transfer sheets. So I hope you enjoyed the video and this size comparison of the new Legion's Imperialis box compared to 28 mil equivalents. Um, let us know in the comments if you're going to be picking out the box and also what Legion or faction you are going to be playing. Um, if you are interested in getting a box painted by us here at Siege, then head to the description of this video where you can find the link to our website's contact form to get in touch with us for your quote for your Legion's Imperialis box. From all the team here and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video. Just finally, if you'd like to give the video a thumbs up, uh, drop a comment below or subscribe to the channel, we'd appreciate it massively. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.